Cornfield, the Papa Hotel, Echo X-ray Hotel. Papa Hotel, Echo X-ray Hotel, this is Cornfield, good afternoon. Papa Hotel, Echo X-ray Hotel, uh, position is five miles out, 1,000 feet, request your weather information. Weather at Cornfield, visibility four and a half to five K, slowly improving. No low clouds, just a bit hazy. X-ray Hotel is clear hot, single run. Papa X-ray Hotel, final hot. And next day your tell is clear hot. Clear hot. Two words that spell action to air arm pilots. A fitting introduction for the Fokker Maritime Enforcer. Defender of coastal waters, an airborne platform equipped to counter the threat of enemy submarines and surface craft. The enforcer's formidable armament may be varied to suit the needs of any operator on any mission. Eight store stations carry a variety of stores, including depth charges or torpedoes located under the main plane or under specially reinforced stump wings. The maximum store payload of 8,800 pounds may also include guns or mines or pylon tanks, parachute flares for search and rescue, or a target towing unit for gunnery training. At an illuminated weapon infantry operated by the TACO, Station 5 is chosen for use. Selected ready and released. As the depth charge falls away, the station light is switched off. Now the TACO selects station three. The target is tracked with great precision. The weapon is selected ready, then released, and the torpedo drops away to the sea. When the aircraft has to intensify the attack, two weapons may be deployed simultaneously. Stations two and seven are selected, and the two depth charges are released. The Enforcer is a cost-effective development of the Fokker Maritime Sea Surveillance Aircraft, which has been adopted by seven nations. From Station 6, which carries up to 1,500 pounds, a torpedo is dropped. In these operations, the mid-wing station on the left-hand wing, number two, is fitted with a twin mounting rail from which two torpedoes are to be dropped, one at a time. The stub wings from which this torpedo is provide the central hard points, numbers four and five, the strongest of all, each capable of carrying up to 2,000 pounds. Now a torpedo from Station 3, one of the two innermost stations on the main plane, each capable of carrying up to 650 pounds. And with that torpedo homing on target, the Enforcer, which can cruise at 230 knots, returns to base. The highly accurate handling of the Fokker Maritime Enforcer makes it especially suitable for attack with rockets and automatic fire. Weapons to be loaded for the next mission are arranged in relation to their positions on the aircraft. Gun pods inboard, rocket pods outboard. The rocket pods will be carried on stations 7 and 2, each of which may be used for other stores, including pylon tank with searchlight when needed, a target towing unit, or multiple rack housing parachute flares. The gun pods are hoisted to stations 3 and 6, which on other missions may be used for rocket pods, torpedoes, or depth charges.
safety switch on to prevent any possibility of accidental firing during loading. So it's perfectly safe to load the guns in stations 3 and 6, a simple process. First the rounds are fed into the magazine, which slides easily into position on the pod. The hood is placed over the magazine, closed and the gun is almost operational. Safety switch off and the system is activated. The weapons of the maritime enforcer are ready for action. Light is poor as the enforcer takes off on a training flight to the range where the pilot, who handles all rocket and gun firing, will make his first attempts at marksmanship. In heavy rain, the target is only dimly visible, so there's little chance in this weather that a pilot taking his enforcer conversion course would be able to score hits at his first try. Especially when he has to sight the target through the arc of a windscreen wiper. It's all too much. Zero hits first time. But he soon does better. Seven hits that time, and the aircraft bangs away to return to base. This time it's to be a trial rocket firing. This rocket pod holds seven rockets. This larger pod takes 19 2.75 folding fin type rockets that can be easily loaded. Clear hot for another sortie. And now the captain works with all the skill of a fully fledged enforcer pilot. Score 5 5 at 6 o'clock. 55 at 6 o'clock. Excellent. Target covered. Complete target covered. 250 at 6 till 225 at 12. Perfect target covered. A spectacular success. The target has been straddled with ripple fire. The aircraft flies away to prepare for another mission. Enforcer duties are not always an active response to hostile craft. For search and rescue and poor visibility, flares are required. And they are loaded on stations 2 and 7 to light up a wide area. Three flares are dropped in quick succession. For survivors below, a sign that help is on the way. The Fokker Maritime Enforcer is a highly efficient defensive aircraft, fully capable of enforcing man's right to protect the coasts of his homeland. <laughs>